Okay, good morning, guys. Allora, as a promise, uh, today we're going to start the page by page uh, sharing of the PDF document for the uh, Nissan Skyliner 32 GTST uh, 5 speed manual transmission FS5 W71C uh, review. Eh? I'm going to place uh, the document uh, in, uh, on top of this uh, stand. This wooden things is black so you can flip and uh, we're gonna review page by page what's going on I'm gonna look at the page zoom in uh, comment pause so the video will be a little fractionated but you know why eh? so let's try ready okay this is the first one I'm gonna pause awesome There we go, page number one. This is the missing drawings in all the manual you find online. This is the missing one. It's the overall uh, assembly eh? with part number and build of material. So now we are getting in. I hope it's going to be good enough. We are going in and see what happens. Okay, so portion number one is the back side. There we go. You can see all the numbers. Can go a little closer so you view also the bearings and everything else. Okay, awesome. And part numbers or reference number balloon there. Awesome. Now we go down here. Let's go to the top portion. We have the numbers. Okay. Now we go to the lower portion. You got the numbers. Now I get in one shaft at the time. Because this is very important. The bearing. We go in. There you go. Okay. I hope it is clear enough. It will be. Because when you look at the print and you're going to have your parts on your table, you will understand what's going on. There we go. That's for the clutch and everything else. Okay. The leverage, the front bearings, with the snap ring, everything is there. The keys. The orientations, selectors, and the rear bearing. I want to pay a particular attention. You want to pay a particular attention to this bearing. The Nissan Skyliner 32 GTST gearbox has a barrel or needle bearing right here on shaft number two. This guy. Replace it with a bolt bearing. Number 21 is probably the best things you can do. Eh? I already mentioned in my videos, so take it easy and look on if you agree. Otherwise, do OEM, no big deal. But the other one tend to fail, this one doesn't. Eh? That's very important. It's hard because you how far they put the numbers for the balloon to reach exactly what it is, but at the time again you have the print on your hands or the full picture okay. you can do stuff this is very important I go I insist in on getting into it so you guys can see you can comment yourself you can take the notes you need to need you can get close to your video your TV whenever you have available and then finally you got the manual plus the video this is probably gonna help you let's go closer you can see the details of the print snap rings selectors gears bearing the reverse right there okay. and the main shaft sounds good awesome one more time I hope this is good enough there we go, with all the numbers, one, and two, let me pause, 
Okay, this is the description of the balloon in the in the print. Eh? I go right there. Yeah, they write down from top to bottom. You see the number one four seven, so that's kind of hard. But you got the two next row. Pause. At this one. Pause. So I allow you to look at the balloon and understand what's going on. Okay. We start with the service and everything else, how to do it, etc. Okay. I'm not gonna talk much with it. Uh, I'm just gonna go page by page, stay on it, and stay pay, pause on it, on every picture, and you guys good to go. Okay. Thank you. There you go. This is another gearbox assembly for the support and show you where it goes. Let's see, you guys got it. Okay. Let's go down here so you can see the torque specs. Okay, I'll let you read this. Bolt number, torque spec. Pay attention here. The exposed number is a newton meter. The first number, newton meter, kilogameter, and foot pound. Okay, foot pound. And the length millimeter and inches this is how you read it this is the pattern of the bolts in your gearbox looking from the front okay manual transmission or manual transmission if you look there are dots and axes stuff like that eh? it's not bring everything Let's see maybe with this is better Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, we may read them better like that. So you can read the old tale. Okay, this is a little, start to be a little bit more uh, complete. We show you all the parts in the gearbox. And I'm getting closer. Eh? And then you guys can see better what's going on here. Switches. Let me see, I don't think this is good. I think this is better. Yeah, that's better. Show you how to go. Okay, let's start from the rear side. Tall specs and everything else. Bearings, numbers, everything, okay? Overall case component. This is how it goes. I'm moving slowly because you guys can see what's going on. The bolts, what kind, the thread, everything, and especially these animals here with the torques. Pay attention to all these mess messages in the drawings because those are very important. You know, it tells you threads and everything else. Let's go out. You guys can see what's going on. This is an in this is very interesting. Yeah. Every symbol has its own mean. I know you guys know it, but let me repeat it.
this is very important. If we want to go step by step into this thing, one time for forever, make a, not a, a, a cheap made video, but a good one that somebody then can look on it like a little encyclopedia, this is the only way. Nice and slow. One thing at a time. You select your sub-assembly area, and you look at the features with all that details. I hope the number is going to pay attention to how we're going to pay back, sorry, or what we need to do. Okay, this is nowhere. And there's the other one. Okay, this is the part number referred to that print. I'm going to pause so you can see. Two. And three. Okay, this is probably uh, one of the most important prints. It show all the assembly of the axle in the gearbox. I think there are two of it, or maybe this one. So we go step by step. You have to be very careful. Eh? One, two, eh? and three. It was the reverse. Now I go step by step. Try to focus in. See if I can keep one assembly together so you guys can see. Cannot guarantee I'm gonna try. Then I go from top to bottom, nice and slow. Eh? So you guys have time to look at that crap and the numbers. There you go. Showing you everything how it goes slow down with all the details and everything sorry about that main drive gear eh? that's the main drive gear right there now we go to the next one is show you the sequence bearings and everything else all the components okay. this is very important to show you how it goes okay. this is starting from here oops okay. sorry about the finger it goes in and pop itself right there using this Okay, so basically this goes inside here. Then all this stuff in a sequence, see, catch up this line, it got connected there. Now, the other one instead, sorry about that, it starts from here, it goes around. And together with this, got slided in the shaft. Now, now I go slow. So sorry about that. And I have to explain the mean, the meaning of this. Not everyone is a mechanic, 100%. So these drawings are weird. So this one goes here, goes inside there. This one goes like that. Turn, connect with that. It goes inside there. So now I give you what you need to know. Let's start from here. Is the beginning of the chain. Okay, start from number 30. Pay attention on the symbols. Then it goes. I think number 32, I'm not sure if it's a left bolt. I'm not sure. I don't remember. There is a notes in any way. Okay. Bearings and everything. Slowly, I'm gonna make it through. The three keys, the two springs, selector, and there we go. Now, this gentleman goes to the beginning of right there. He's connected with this guy, and he goes right there. There we go again. 26, 25, 24, etc. Moving forwards, I go slow. You see the sequence. It goes in the shaft. Remember, all these... 
uh, parts, especially on bushing, gears, and stuff like that, require to be eat up because are all in interference fit. Gears, splines, everywhere you see a spline, you see a bearing, or any other things, any diameter of bushing is all interference fit. Okay, that was one shaft. Now we go to the next one. This is another one. That is this gentleman right there, okay? Number 31, we see it. Sorry about that. Now we go here. This guy. Second shaft, the one located at the bottom. Eh? I apologize, I said something wrong before. It's not this, it's this. This is not the shaft, starting from the bolt. Eh? This guy. Bearing, gears, eh? this is plank shaft, heat them up, heat them up. Heat them up, etc. etc. Don't let me say all the time, you already know it. So we go. That's the lower shaft. It's not too bad, it's understandable. It's a little long, but give your name and everything else. Okay. Like that, I focus out. Now I go back in. Or if I'm moving around, this is the reverse. This. Snapper. Number 33, etc. etc. 12 is a ball, so be careful. Far than I remember. No, if you still there, and some gearbox have it, some doesn't. So pay this as a reference. Okay, now. Name, symbols, and the legend is called, you know. The legend is giving you the reference. Eh? Thank you. This is how it goes. Okay, this is the agenda, the legenda of that. So you can refer yourself and your researches to this. It's interesting because, oh, what is first gear, second gear, third gear? There we go. For third and fourth, second main gear, read it. Third main gear, if you look at this, there's a lot of things to learn. And you can use the right terminology way better than what I do. If I study this a little longer time so I have you know my mind is fresh I may we remember but I got a book so I don't need to my head is already full of a lot of stuff <laughs> eh? and this is number three awesome I'm gonna stop the video right here it's already long it's 18 minutes and uh, full of good stuff Thank you. The next one will be, this is all about the gearbox. Sorry about the background with a piece of wood I used to work on. The next one will be about this, you know, leverages and stuff. When I got time, now I have to go work. Eh? I want to say thank you. Uh, let me know if you like it. Uh, see what happened, okay? Thank you.